Mrs. Naka, I want to actually thank you, the Lord, for bringing your children for the choir practice. You don't know what you are doing for them now, but you are actually grooming them, grooming them to become better persons, not only in the church, but in the society in general. And I say if, if the family can do their best, the world will be a better place. The problem that we are having in the world today, as you, as you, as you, as you know, is a bad parenting. Whereby yeah, children are not well trained in the way of the Lord. But I must, I must, I must commend you for the effort you put in. You have to come all the way from first stack, bring your children down, wait for them to practice, finish, and then you take them home. Indeed, uh, it's something that uh, I would really wish every parent to, to emulate. So, what gives you this drive to always see that uh, you bring your children every time for prayer practice? Okay. Um... In the first place, I rise to give thanks to God Almighty and through Jesus Christ, our Lady, for the breath of life and the gift of every day. I like to use that term every day. Um, for me, it's an honor. It's an honor. The rule has been given and is clearly stated in the scriptures. Train up the child in the way he should go. That when he is old, he will not depart from him. And then in Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1, which by God's grace happens to be the youth fellowship uh, motto, all of these are geared towards encouraging us to take the work of God seriously. Mm. In the GKS, our teachings, our training, mm. our classes, everything is free. Yeah. So why would it's become a challenge to attend free classes. Mm. Mm. If you hear IT classes and other schools with our children at home, yes. the monies we pay are something else. Mm. But what is being impacted in the gospel of society yes. cannot be found there. Exactly. So I pray to God, mm. I appealed and I begged, and God, I believe God is helping mm. so that I will be there to bring them. That is the job now. Bring mm. the children to, be, to participate in the activities of the church. Yes. Like I say, it will be cheaper to do this now mm. than doing it later when it will be late and expensive. Yes. If God answers my prayer, it is a belief that once our duty has been done, which is to train up the child in the way they should go, mm. when they get old by the person, they will not depart from it. Yes. Will you be happy if one of your sons uh, devote as a minister? It is the will of God. Mm. It is the will of God mm. to, to choose whoever you choose and desire yes. to come and devote to your service. Wow. So who am I? Hmm? Who am I? Fear not the cash money. Okay. Yes. I serious fear. Yes. I, I have respect for my ministers. Mm. I pray daily for my ministers. Mm. So if it pleases God that one of my sons will now be part of the number mm. to his name alone. Yeah, name. your sister always, you always bring her, she always come with the children, but it's like today she's not around. Egypt is not an easy place to be. Yes. <laughs> Egypt is not easy. <laughs> so she has a work schedule for today. Okay. And that's why she's not. Indeed, but the, the children are here. That is, that, that is one uh, important thing. Exactly. I really want to thank you and uh, also to... To encourage you and to say that uh, you, you shouldn't get tired, you know, uh, as, a, as a human being, that tendency for you to get tired will all, always be there, but I, I want to just want to encourage you in the Lord that you, you must not get tired, and just, just as you have resolved that it is better to train them, it is much cheaper now than leaving them on train and then paying more later uh, when it will be too late. That is a take home for every parent. So I really want to, so what advice do you have for other parents who have children like this, what do you think they should do to bring the children up in the way of the Lord? Well, the, the truth is, the onus lies on the parents, mm. we parents, God Almighty first, through Jesus Christ, our prayer, that's how we direct it. But the onus lies on the parents, the first to move. Please, let us not criticize the leadership of the church. The church in general in the presence of our children. Mm. Very important. Mm -hmm. The second thing is that 
hustle that we hustle. Yeah. We walk, we walk. At the end of the day, it is because of this change that, yes. that we are doing. When we now go out to walk, mm. and the children are not being taken care of mm. in the way of the Lord, mm. it ends up as vanity. Yeah. Because it is that money you earn that you will now come and use to solve problems. Yes. Instead of creating time for them. So my advice is, may God help us. Mm. My prayer, my prayer. Is may God help us increase our faith yes. and then give us the capacity, the presence of mind to bring our children. Yes. To you made a valid church. point here. You made a very, very, very valid point when you said, Do not criticize the church or the ministers in the presence of, of, of your children. That is very true. Even their discomfort. Yeah. The women fellowship. Yes. Fellowship. Don't criticize them Those in the presence of, of your children. Yes. Very important. Our parents, I hope you can hear this. Do not criticize the elders, the ministers, the church in the presence of your children. If you, are, if you feel aggrieved, you are angry with any person, go to that person as uh, required by the scripture. Go to him and uh, pour out your grief and then say to, say to, say to your differences rather than um, criticizing the church in the presence of your children. So what do you think is, will be the effect at the end of the day? It's clear now. Mm. When you have criticized, yes. their mind are still being molded. Yes. They, they, they ingest, they invite those things we have said. Yes. And that is what we continue to do. Wow. At the point they may see, mm. because we are humans, yes. prone to error, mm. they may experience one of those things. Those things. Yes. And it will now concretize what wow. is in their mind. Wow. And that is the word. And they will lose interest in the church. They will lose interest. Very wow. easily. Ah. They will lose interest. Mm. Thank you, Brother Justice, for this uh, beautiful talk. And this is uh, a well-worded advice. We pray that our parents will, will be up and doing to see that our children grow up in the way of the Lord. I want to thank you. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.